A quick Google search claims that cats have been domesticated for 10,000 years. But this house panther here, he hasn't been domesticated ever. Had to blur his face out, you know, to keep all the internet cat perverts from knowing his identity. He seems to like attacking pretty much anything. Uh, things hanging, things that look like food, the, the, anything interesting, brightly colored items, even though I'm told they're colorblind. And here he is at the scene of the crime, uh, ripping apart uh, my lady's, uh, my lady's, uh, my lady's bra here, which makes my life more complicated having to be uh, a bra repair man, which is what this video is about. Which brings us to the singer. 95 10, almost 100 years old, that guy. It was my grandmother's. It was my great grandmother's. And not so much my mom's. Uh, she gave that thing to me, and then I had to figure out how to use it. I think sewing is something that's like overlooked for most makers. Get into, you know, like the 3D printing and, and the CNC machines, and maybe the welding, and a little bit of machining, and, and not so much sewing. And strangely, my last job taught me how to sew. And I obtained this through my mom. She just had it laying around in pieces where I learned how to do some sewing. That's me cleaning it off and keep a sewing station going at all times. So, the cat ripped it in half, right there about dead center, right about where that circle's at. And uh, usually I would add a piece of material underneath that to help bind this material together, but as you can see, it, it kind of ripped it uh, apart and it was already sandwiched, so I'm pretty sure I can just use the material that's already there to sew it back together. And here I am trying to put it all together, trying to come up with a plan some point. Put it away. And uh, with sewing, you gotta have the ubiquitous sped up shot. With sewing, you have to string it, which is probably the hardest part of actually sewing anything with a machine, is the actual threading it back together. As you can see here, I'm being incredibly lazy about it and just rerouting it through something that's already there. I'm pretty sure I know this by heart, but I'm real lazy though. Just gonna go ahead and run it through what's already there. Uh, the, the sewing machine, if anybody's interested, uh, you can sort of pick them up on eBay on occasion. They usually run from anywhere between like a hundred bucks and like two hundred bucks, but they're a little bit rare because nobody wants to ship them to you. It's expensive. It's very heavy. That that big block of wood there is like solid. A bunch of straps have been glued together. Um, this one even came with that uh, that Wizard of Oz style. 10 man oiling container on the right side there underneath the thread. So I keep it with it to actually oil it together. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get that at some point. Pulling the old blue stuff out of there. And get the sewing. That thing's got like a head sized motor underneath it, which I don't actually show. Uh, it's still got a lot of strength in it. Still got a lot of strength in it for being that old. There we go, there's the old lighting switch I, I hooked into it for the switch. Yeah. Really all I'm doing here is that I pinned it. And I didn't show me pinning it, because I wanted to seem like I was better at sewing than I am. Pretty much the, the process here is to run a zigzag through it fairly randomly so you mechanically bind to all the material together. Uh, I mean, you're pretty much random, a random zigzag in any which direction that you can alongside of it. Kind of like a patch job to be able to make, the, make it actually stronger and not rip and you know, the seam that's already there when it tears and the other material that's become loose as before. That's why I'm spinning it so often and I'm trying to get another good zigzag in there. The process is real small here, so it's, it goes by the way. Right right so, uh, I always want to 
make sure when you turn it like that that the needle's down here. This isn't a tutorial by any means, it's just a pro tip. Just a pro tip. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the Brawl Repair video. Something that they don't tell you That's about it. You can stop. Is it takes a physical it. Just click off of this. It drains on you.